don't care about your arm. The smell of pizza and free food signs drew students to Linwood Society Professional Journalist Free Food Festival. But just like the saying goes, nothing is really free. The allure of free pizza might be enticing to students, but what they don't know is when they walk through this door, they have given all their rights to SBJ. The SPJ Club understands the importance of their First Amendment rights, especially their freedom of press. But what they hoped to do was show students what it feels like to have all of that taken away. Guests at the event were told to sit away from their friends, proving that once they entered the room, they were no longer free to assemble. Logos on clothing were prohibited and covered with duct tape. SPJ Club members decided when they could speak and even what they could say. All hail Ricardo the banana. Some students walked in with Ash Wednesday marks on their forehead and were asked to praise a banana. The beneficent ruler of us all. All praise and glory be to the banana. One participant explained how the event was enlightening. I think it makes you think about um, what our rights really do mean and we do have the right here to uh, worship what we want. SPJ President Emily Adar feels the event is uncomfortable for everyone involved. It's hurtful for us even to try to force somebody to say something they don't really believe because that's obviously not what our organization stands for. Once SPJ members felt guests had been pushed far enough, they were rewarded with their free pizza. Linwood senior Lauren Merck enjoyed the experience but is glad it only lasted for a few minutes. Ultimately, if I had to sign over my First Amendment rights for Pizza Pizza for the rest of my life, no, it's, it's not worth it. Reporting for LUTV News, I'm Caitlin Baker.